Hello, SMM Sunday School is Mother Johanna again. I have a, probably a, a project or a, I have some a task here. See this? I need to mend it. Shall I use a piece of fabric? Mm, maybe not. It's not very good. Maybe I just cut out a little piece and then cover it. Ah, that's better. Should I use tape or should I use glue? Or this? No, this, the color doesn't match. So you're asking, what are you doing? Why are we mending things? Well, we mend things all the time, but we also mend relationships. You know how sometimes when we do something bad and we, uh, we upset our friends or our parents or our siblings, and we feel really sorry and we, we say, well, can you please forgive me? This is how we mend relationships. Now today Jesus, well we're telling, I'm telling you a story about Jesus and Peter. So one day Peter came to Jesus and said, whoops, he's always very nervous. I would be too. How often should I forgive? And Peter came out with the answer, seven. And Jesus said, uh, actually is 77 times or 70 times seven? Okay, let's do some math. So 70 times 7 equals 1, 2, 3, yes, 490. Okay, 490 times. Oops, whoops, I think I run out. I've lived long enough to run out of 490 times that I can actually say sorry or be forgiven. I don't think so. What Jesus is trying to tell Peter is that you should always forgive people who actually upset you. Reason being, God always forgives us. Whenever we, 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 we did something bad and we say to God, God, I'm really, really sorry I've, I've done this. I, can you please forgive me? God will always say, yes, you are forgiven. So God, well, if God always forgives us, then we should do the same to other people who upset us. Because when, when the relationship is not there, everything is, is, is just like not together. We don't have peace. Sometimes I know, I know it's hard to say sorry to someone and, and ask for forgiveness, but you know what? God say, we are all family. Remember last time? Love is the only thing, well, not the only thing. God loves us so that we are also asked to go and love other people so god forgives us which means we have to go and we go have to forgive others otherwise there's no peace and the most important thing is because we are family and with family there is no what was I saying? there's nothing that cannot be forgiven yep so this week i challenge you if you've done something bad, which we, which are often, well, which happens quite often because we are human, I would ask you to ask God to help you to forgive others. If I, if other people upset you, you just ask them. Well, let us talk. I'm very willing to forgive you, but we we need to understand what is happening. It's always a relationship, and like this, you can always mend it. And even though you can see a little, maybe a border of this little hole, it's only a reminder that we are forgiven. So it's not all bad. Well, until next time, I will say stay safe and, and pray on. And I will see you next week. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye.